Hello there everyone out there YouTube, this is Comet Irvin once again with another video for you. And in this video we're going to do something a little bit different than I normally would do. Um, and if you want to know about Project 2016, it's coming along fine. I just went and ordered replacement parts for it, got a maintenance kit. And tomorrow I'm going to go to Walmart and pick up some CRCQV electronic cleaner so I can clean the guts and stuff it out. And it's coming along fine. But I was in my closet and I was digging around in there and I found uh, some old HO trains I remember getting from a brother of mine a while back. I just found them and I thought, I think it would be kind of cool to show you guys what's in the box. So, right there's the box. You can see it's a really old box. Very, very, very old box. So, um, let's open it up. By the way, it might come apart on us here, so it's like I said, this thing's old. See, look here, look at this shit. It's gonna go to Bandago. So look at this shit. It's easy to build your own railroad with Tyco seam. These are Tyco trains, by the way. See, this is old, and when I mean old, I mean old. Like old as fuck. See? Pretty, pretty crazy. Save up to $20 on these Tyco accessories. See? Right here. Tyco easy instructions. See? wonder how old these are. Mm -hmm. I don't know actually how old these are. I'm guessing this is probably about 1980s, what I'm going to guess. You know, Tyco, Tyco price list in order form. Do, 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 continue. Do, 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 do. Morristown, New Jersey. Because Tyco nowadays, I believe Tyco, they make... Um, RC cars and stuff, so, ah, here we go, here's all the cars, and yes, they all have the original boxes, so, we have the, um, the 40-foot caboose Santa Fe 327-22, see, HO scale electric trains, which I think these boxes are pretty cool, see, we got that, we got this Burlington Northern Hopper car, which is pretty cool. Um, this uh, Durango stock car, which is another pretty neat piece. I actually don't remember how I got my hands on these, but my brother gave them to me. He found them in an old house and said, hey, I know you like trains. And see, here's another one, big box car. See, Mason Dodson. See, look, there's even a price tag on there. It's from Target. Wow, two forty nine. This this box car costed two dollars and forty nine cents. Wow, and I don't even know how old this thing is. If anybody knows the if anybody knows the age of these box cars or whenever these pieces were released, please let me know. You'd be helping me out. And there's another big box car. It's a, a Santa Fe box car. It's a 50 footer, what it says. It's pretty neat. The box is pretty good on that one, too. Um, well, here's another one. It says Clementine Gold Mining Car. It's a dump car. It sounds like it's got something in there. They got some gold nugs or something in there. Oh, and here's a big. Here's a big car right here, this big tank car. And this is actually one that was made by Tyco, but it didn't have the original box. And I like this car because the fact it's Coca Cola, it's got metal handrails on it. I wish I'd like to get a car like this for my Lionel train, for my Lionel collection. Um, 17 piece bridge and trestle set, including in this set, which says H O. Um, 
we have the uh, the power supply pack which says Tyco Tyco pack one so and we got a massive track and we got three engines this engine here is a Tyco engine it is of a F3 or an F7 diesel locomotive painted in Conrail you can see on the bottom there it says Tyco made in Hong Kong and um, I've actually ran this once and it runs like shit so um, and these other engines here these are made by um, I don't know uh, AHM I don't know what AHM is I guess that's another model company but this here is the powered one this is a GP7 or a GP9 engine in Union Pacific colors pretty nice and there's another one right here but this guy here is the the, the dummy unit or the trailing unit so uh, yeah and there's like I said a crap load of track in there and also these were in there too when I got these two like dart things so, so let's just lay these out here so we can kind of see what we've got so we have the uh, the two GP7 GP9s is F3 F7 the tank car this dumping car this hopper car this caboose that box car another box car a cattle car this bridge and trestle set and, um, that power pack and all of and all this paperwork so yeah I thought it was kind of a kind of pretty interesting when I first saw these I thought I didn't know Tyco made trains I knew Tyco made slot cars and they made some really art really awesome remote controlled cars and shit but I didn't think they made trains and see this is a uh, the engine and the reason why these are called HO it stands for half O I can show you like over here you see um, move that out of the way so there's my um, my Lionel diesel and see you can see the size difference this is O gauge this is HO see this is half of that half O so let's move the two see I think these two went together I think these two were part of a set like maybe not a train set but like a like a set you can bottom them together like the pattern one pulls a dummy and pulls a card I think this was part of a, a Tyco train set it did have a front coupler but the coupler broke um, the body can come off but I'm not going to see he's got these little horn hooks that's what that's called a horn hook I actually remembered as a kid having a whole bunch of HO trains and all the HO trains I've ever had had this weird hook on them it's called a horn hook and see like I said there's the a Durango cattle car a Mason Dots box car um, let me get the glare off a Santa Fe shock control box car a Santa Fe caboose a Burlington Northern gone um, hopper it's kind of ironic to see the two Santa Fe cars and the Burlington Northern car because the two railroads merged and became Burlington Northern Santa Fe and this Clementine gold mining company car and what's really neat is on the side you can see different like different engines I like that one there that Mikado and that uh, F9 and that Super Alco and that uh, Pacific's pretty cool too yeah do you am, am I thinking about getting more HO trains and um, probably not I don't really collect HO 
it's not really my gauge. I'm not. I, I mean, I, I used to have a lot of them when I was a kid because they were cheaper than Lionel. But now I've kind of kind of went fully to the Lionel to that O gauge because I like it better. But I figured it'd be a little something different for you guys. A little something different than what I normally do. And and for you and for all you viewers that like my ship stuff, I will be planning on doing a few uh, ocean liner related videos here. Yeah, very soon, so stay tuned for that. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, leave a thumbs up for the video for me if you like, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below, and if you like my channel, hit subscribe. Until next time, this is Commodore Irvin saying, let the track be clear ahead, and uh, we'll steam it for you.